Hello, and welcome to the Tiny Trailer Workshop. Some of you will recall that a while back I, uh, I made a bowler out of a piece full of arbutus. And that's again what this is, is a piece of arbutus. But this time I thought I would try a top hat. And uh, I think the way it's going to be, just the way this piece of wood sits, uh, this is going to be the brim. So we'll bring the hat up here and I'll put a, a tenon a, a mortise in here to make it so I can turn it around and hang on to it proper. Anyhow, let's see what we can do. Alrighty. Well, let's see about turning this around now, seeing as it's starting to get too loose to do anything else with. Hopefully that's deep enough. That was a chore. Um, got it hollowed out. Got the got it all drilled out to. Let me see. We got it split up there too now. Mm. Um, got it all drilled out and then got the Forstner bit stuck right about there. That took a long time. Anyhow, um, I'm gonna try and I, oh, in trying to get that Forstner bit out, I also whacked it here, which cracked it. I should probably just get another piece of wood. I should. It's not me though. The black marks are where I used a rubber wrench to try and get the bit out. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of sanding on the bottom here and the inside. And we'll turn around. Hang on. All right. So now I'm going to try this tennis ball idea. I haven't uh, haven't used it before, so I would imagine it's going to work very well. Uh, I'm going to get this down to size here now. smaller than the tennis ball. That's the tennis ball. Still got some room. Alrighty. It is amazing how fine the dust from this wood is. 
it, it's almost like flour. I'm bringing in a lamp, actually, it's the one that I use from, from overhead here, and it's equipped with a spring clip. Seeing as I have a tubular bed, this works well. I remember somebody saying that this doesn't show you how thin you're getting, but how evenly you're getting thin. Very, very close. Okay, I'm going to chicken out from there and from here on it's going to be sanding. Um, it's awfully close. I'm going to still have to cut it off and stuff like that, but it's awfully close. Hang on. Well, I think we've got that down to a point where uh, it's time to take it off. for sure that was going to be a gunner but it's not and of course my 
careful planning on that it didn't work. So, painter's tape. When all else fails, painter's tape. Well, I think that's just about got her. Uh, for those of you wondering, those of you stateside wondering uh, about this wood, um, it's in Canada called Arbutus, down there it's called Madrona. And it's lots of fun either place, <laughs> either name. Good stuff. Anyhow, here's my tip of the hat for the week. And speaking of tipping hats, a lot of you will already know David over at the Drunken Wood. Hello, Worker. I'm David Petrito and this is the weekly wood ricking wrap up review. Cheers to you. Grandpa Petrito, salute. His enthusiasm is infectious and his information is invaluable. So stop by, have a beer, and find out what's up. Oh and hey, leave him a comment and let him know that someone else is watching. Let's see what it looks like when it stops. Not so bad. A little bit of, a little bit more sanding, but uh, he has a good, good old top hat. Yep. All right. Well, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye now.